see if I can find him again. He might have turned that way or he might have gone this way. This way, there are only boon tracks that I can see for now. I used to play a lot of driving cars when I was a little kid. And then I got old enough that they gave me a license so I could actually play driving cars with cars. Some of the other cars I'll still have to drive and maybe we'll do some of that live if we can. Some of the really high end fast cars. Now maybe they've got some of the best roads in the world. In fact many of the great cars that get tested, the early early tests when they still have to keep them secret they do in Namibia because they've got these great roads with no one there that can see them. I mean, I I just drive over tracks. This one's on there, huh? Yeah, I was going to just cruise along a bit and then check again, unless... Let's just check both sides. It's nice to have a nice casual conversation about something while driving 310 kilometers an hour. And looking outside at the view. I wonder where that lip has gone. These, these tracks were fresh enough that perhaps we should go back to that junction. I don't see tracks on this side either. And the leopard could have done an, one of three things really. He could have gone straight in Weaver's Nest. He could have cut down here to the side. Or he could run into the bush, which is of course an option. And that squirrel, you remember right in the beginning when um, it shows you we should have followed our, our gut feeling there more. There we go. There's the tracks again. Oh, I'm feeling good about this, huh? Um, those kudus and the squirrel when they were calling. That's where they came from. If we had really bundubashed in there, we probably would have found them. Let's see. Keep our shop. I'm just going to move along a little bit. I'm not going to look for tracks now. I'm going to try and preempt a little bit and catch up if possible. I'm hoping she'll have hand. Eh? It's raining. It's raining, yeah. and so the plot thickens and the thick plottens as Andre always used to say, Andre Klocker here's Impala they relaxed so the Impala, I haven't seen the leopard or the leopard have perhaps seen the Impala and they're now hiding from it hey? did you see something? perhaps Well, Caroline, thank you very much for a beautiful message. Um, I missed some of the words there, but I got the gist of it. And certainly what you said about walking around in New York, I quite like that. I quite like New York as a city. Is around here, huh? Just, it's just a shape. Yeah, I heard the prank. We're going to check. That's our second lead. Lishan saw a bit of a shape of something. It could have been. Who knows? But as we're coming in here, we also heard the prank. And just calling the other side. We're very, very fresh on the back behind or close to leopard and um, I would love to find them it's one of the coolest things that always well there's two coolest ways to find the leopard three the third one is any time when you find the leopard in which any way the second one is when it's total surprise you come around the corner and but there's a leopard and the third one is if you find a track you find a hint of it in this case no, that was it that was a normal call that was an alarm call um, the third one as I said, we find the track, and we had the hints of it earlier with the squirrels, and they were calling, but we didn't think perhaps that perhaps it was something else. I got those water tracks, there were no leopard tracks, but now we've got this, so...
Yeah, I heard them. They back that side. Now I could look the wood now. So it's like one loop through here. And then I think we're going to check around more to Twin Dams Road. I want to thank you, but unfortunately I couldn't copy enough of that to make out the gist of it from Cindy. We'll try just now again. Just seem to be having bad cam, uh, bad, uh, bad, uh, what do you call this thing? Radio comms at the moment. Say again. Think, well, why? Because I was talking. I'm speaking to the Hey? My. Reasonably. Thanks, Ayman. Copy. Graham and Emily have arrived. Hey, nah. That's a thorn tree they're hiding in, in amongst the leaves of a leadwood. Glad you guys arrived safely. Graham and Emma are down to go have a look at the, the splicing and start with that. So perhaps we even have the camera back tonight already. That's the thorns. Okay, let's go try to put Dan's road. These impalas are a bit... They're alert. I think that... Yeah. I think that... Um, Franklin call they heard. Yeah, they're very much alert. That direction. Let's just quickly check down the road. Sorry, it's a bit of a bumpy section here. Yeah? There's also only four impala here, so they need to be alert. Now, if you're a hundred impala, there's 200 eyes, or at least a hundred pairs of eyes looking around. And um, if a leopard caught one of you, you've got a 99% of surviving, even if the leopard caught you unawares. If you're four impala, there's only eight eyes, four pairs, and you've got a 25% chance of getting caught. So yeah, there is safety in numbers in many different parts of the equation. Check down this road a bit and we're going to come to those impala again. If possible, the other gorilla won't go for a male impala. I think it's her. Well, her and all the boys. 